Hi, in this example we're going to be working with if statements. If you want to work along with it, you can go to the website, you would load or open L4 practice if statement. If statement meets a condition, it's true or it's false. If you look at the top four cells in this workbook, you will see what is going on here. What we have here is $500 in our savings account. We're saying if it's true, we're going to take a vacation. If it's false, we're staying at home. There's no maybe about this. And cell A6 shows the $500 in our account. Make sure you have clicked in cell A7. That is where we're going to do the if statement. To get to the if statement, we can click on the insert function, which is the FX. We click there. We choose if. Uh, if you don't see it, you go to logical. Then we select if. If this is blocking, move it over to the right. Click on the menu bar. There's only three parts to this thing here. The first thing we have to establish is the logical test. We want to know if we have more than $500. So we click inside cell B6, greater than, equal to 500. Go to the box down below, hit the tab key. If it's true, we're going to say take a vacation. Hit the tab key to go to the text box down below where you're now blinking inside value if false. You will now see quotes surrounding take a vacation. This is a text entry. Uh, if this were a formula or a mathematical thing that we were doing, it would just say like B5 asterisk C12. Value if false. It is stay home. And at this point, don't worry about the no exclamation points here. All you have to do is click on the OK or press the Enter key. You now have Take a Vacation showing in here. However, let's say we only have 350 in savings. We click inside A6. We type in 350. Hit the Enter key. It's now saying Stay Home. For all intents and purposes, we have $500 left. We click on the undo. We now have $500. We have just done our first if statement.